Hello, I'm Sean Hellman and this is the Strop and Slip set that we make. Opening the box, you will find the instructions. Do read them before you start using this Strop and Slip set. We have a round strop and we have a flat strop, both made out of veg tan leather. We have the stropping compound, this will last you a very, very long time, and we have a little scraper. More on this later. We also have eight flat and round slips. This is silicon carbide paper, half sheet. Use the slips. I like to work quite high up. I don't want just to be holding my tools and working out in front of me like this. Everything wobbles around a bit and we can't get the correct angles. So I've just made a little extendable bench that fits in my vise and I can rest the tool onto this. I take my slip and I pull it over the edge, never push. I can also work along the edge like so, just making sure I'm slowly pulling the slip out over the edge rather than pushing it in. With the round ones, just push round. Again, I'm pushing over the edge, not pulling into the edge. Again, I can work along the edge like so, just twisting the slip around a bit. The slips come in four grades, starting off with 240. You will only ever use the 240 if you want to take the bevels off a hook tool or you've got nicks in the tool that you need to take out. I usually start off with sharp tools with about 600 grit or even 1000 grit. It just depends how much work, how blunt it is. When the slips have worn out, or, the, or, or you think the paper is uh, just not cutting properly, you can just get a pair of scissors and just cut a strip off like so, and then just put the elastic band or a bit of masking tape just to hold it in place. Not only can I sharpen hook tools for green woodworking, but I can sharpen my ads or my gouges, and I have one here. Again, I'm working on a firm surface, this is really important, and I just push the slip around the edge like that, or across the edge like so. Again, with the round slip on the inside, I can just twist it round. Very often there isn't very much room, so you have to work along the edge like this. I can sharpen all sorts of other green woodworking tools. And, and woodworking tools as well. For example, my axe, and again I'm working from behind the edge, the edge is here, the pommel is here, and I'm pushing the slip over the edge, or again I'm going from side to side. I very rarely strop my axes unless I'm doing some very detailed carving work that I really need the axe to really grip into the wood as soon as it touches it. Usually Finishing off with a thousand grit strop is more than good enough. The strops. I've got two strops. The polishing compound, which is a very fine metal polishing compound, and it will work on very hard steels as well, stainless steel, alloyed steels, etc. And we have a little scraper. Very often there's a waxy build up of metal and compound on your strop so I need to take this off every now and again. I don't do this every time. Revealing fresh leather and then I just buy the compound, put plenty on, make sure you work all over it and I can take my knife, put the knife, bevel on the strop and pull up and push down. It's very important that you don't lift the spine of the knife up 
because that's increasing the bevel angle and you will round over the edge very, very quickly, changing the geometry of the tool. I'm actually using quite a bit of pressure while doing this and I get lighter after I've done a few strokes. And it works exactly the same with the hook tools and the adzes. I'll show you this in a while. The scraper has a little burr on either edge and it's this burr that actually scrapes the compound off. It will go blunt quite quickly because obviously we're using it on an abrasive substance. So just get a file, and this is quite noisy, and just push over the edge to create a burr. It's only, you only need a few strokes, and you can just catch the burr with your fingernail. Right, I'll put the extendable bench in again and take my hook knife, again I'm pulling the strop over the edge, never push the strop into the edge, you will cut the leather and leather cuts very very easily. If this does happen, it does occasionally, just use a contact adhesive, uh, a soft glue to glue the cut piece back down again. And again, the round strop, apply some compound all the way round and push. Be very careful when you're removing the round strop because on tight radius blades it's very easy to catch the strop as you're pulling it out and cut it. And this, it is the round strops that uh, this happens to mostly. So push in, stop, and very carefully remove.